Alright, now hopefully the glitch is fixed. We've been having technical difficulties. But that dude right there, he's doing what needs to be done. He's dictating the fights he wants, and it's the fights the public want to see, and it's the fights we need. Win, lose, or draw, that's a real fighter right there. That man stepped up to the plate and sent the offer to Ares Laundry Laura the way he's supposed to and said he wants that to be his next fight on uh, pay-per-view July the 12th. And that's what boxing needs. You cannot be at 154 and not fight the guy that people say is the best. It's just not going to happen. Not if you're Canelo Alvarez. You can't get away with that. Floyd Mayweather's at the tail end of his career. He don't have to fight Lord. He, he don't. He's not a 154 fighter. He can go the rest of his career and do his whole schedule without fighting Laura. And it would be just. I mean, if Laura beats Canelo and probably get another big win, if they can make that a big fight, sure. But he can go the rest of his career without fighting Laura, and to me, that wouldn't even be a dub. I mean, really, he wouldn't. What, he got three fights left? And Laura would have to put off some big feats, starting by beating Canelo. But I give Canelo credit for taking the fight. I mean, to offer the fight and send the contract off over to Laura. You know. So let's not get too excited. You know, we don't know what the contract offer is. I'm just glad that he he sent it over to him. But, you know, it could be some 80-20 type stuff. <laughs> so something that Laura would be like, man, I just can't take that. Well, Laura ducked the fight. <laughs> so we got to uh, kind of like keep our heads a little bit. But I am excited about it. So on that note. Congratulations, Canelo. I'm very proud that you made this decision. I'm out.